Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Varus in the top lane. Uh, the reason I'm playing Varus is I want to try out the new Blighted Quiver uh, here on the PB, where basically uh, activating your Blight on Champions will reduce your basic cooldowns uh, by 12%, which, if you build a Runans, can actually give you your full cooldowns back. So I saw in a video um, that somebody tried it out and actually got a full 100% cooldown reduction uh, on their abilities and was basically able to Q twice. Now I'm combining this with, uh, I'm gonna build an AP Varus on hit for top lane. And this is probably, you know, the worst matchup that I can think of for uh, Varus. I'm against a, a Yasuo with Ignite. So we'll see how I do. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. I got the wave in a decent spot. I can farm pretty safely here. Oh, I was trying to set up the minion. Oh well. That was bad, man. Anyways, we got uh, most of those minions. It's actually 99, so we're doing pretty well. Yeah, you see how we got... Look at the cooldown. So my Q cooldown is usually 18 seconds. But I actually got reduced all the way down to 10 seconds from hitting that Q. And if I have that Blight on multiple champions... Actually, it can do a ridiculous amount of damage. I think my next W, I'm going to use the Empowered W. So yeah, I can I can activate this before I um, press my uh, my Q. I can eat a huge burst. Looks like my Sejuani is uh, here ganking the overextended Yasuo. Nice. First blood for Sedge. I'll take it. Uh, the Aftershock took it. I think he was trying to give me the kill. That's all good. I don't know how many solo kills I'm going to be getting on uh, Yasuo. Actually, you know, I will say I was pretty close to getting one there. Let's see. Alright, so... Hmm, I can get a lot of W from my Blight. So, for AP Varus, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll max my W. Because I'll be auto-attacking the Yasuo plenty in this lane. So, I'll be able to proc my W, um ability quite often so first time i'm gonna be building is uh i could i'm gonna build um nashers eventually but i think i'm gonna itemize into um the night harvester first uh reason why night harvester is good especially with this build is i'm gonna be hitting multiple people since i'm gonna be building runans uh but also damaging the champion deals bonus damage and gives me 25 percent move speed which will help me kite which, uh, you know, against this team, it looks like the, the Kane and the Yasuo are going to go in on me. Maybe, like, cut away from, like, Lucian or something, too. Might be pretty, pretty nice. Okay, his AP Varus is, uh, has always been, like, decently strong. And it's that W activation that really does the damage. So, yeah, it increases damage per bite every time I leveled up, and this uh, scales with AP, too. So, <laughs> I'm doing a large percentage of HP. Waste my W, but it's all good. I got the wave in a good spot. Damn, I should have known his wind walls back up. But I got a really good trade into him with the W. So it's like, even if get into a really hard matchup like Yasuo, it's actually not too bad. Like, you see how, how well I can trade with him? Wow. The cannons kill range minions one auto attack quicker in season 11. So it's been throwing me off all season or since it 
the changes came through. I'm level 6. I got the wave frozen on my side, so Yasuo has actually been missing a lot of minions here. I have Blasting Wand already, so I'm already dealing a good amount of uh, additional magic damage. Even while uh, he's shielded from his passive, I'm still adding in Blight Stacks for when I hit him with an ability. So it's actually still fine. Wait, you see my Q cooldown's already back down to 5 seconds? This is actually such a huge buff to Varus. So it's 48 to 38 CS. Yeah. I'm gonna take away his shield. Let's go sit back. That says wind wall down. Hmm. I wonder if I could have killed him if I, uh... <laughs> wow! That's some damage, huh? So, I saw his wind walls down. I was like, hmm, maybe I can kill him. And, like, lo and behold, I just kind of burst him there. That's a freaking Yasuo, too. Yeah, 10% max health damage when I activate that. I didn't even get a chance to activate it. I actually killed him before my Cuban came back up. Uh, okay. If Twisted Fate poured on me, I actually... You know, I took Exhaust. I haven't had to use it yet, but I do have it, just in case. Let's see. I mean, but I'm probably going to get Q. So I think it does just a bit more damage. I'm going to get this alternator. So the alternator not only um, does damage uh, when I auto-attack a target, but also when I deal damage with the ability. So yeah. by, let's say my Q or my E. You get, uh, I'm waiting for boots, by the way. They're wondering what is going on. Playing for boots actually gets me to lane about the same time. I wasted about five seconds waiting for boots, but boots also give me extra move speed, getting back to lane. So it's roughly the same time. Maybe I would have been there slightly faster, maybe like one second faster. So would have missed the majority of this wave. Like maybe I've gone that many no experience or something. I'm so worth. Boots are pretty good, especially when they're all trying to get on you. This position of wave is a little bit dangerous since I'm going to be slow pushing to the Oswo, which could leave me open for Dying the King, except that he also roams because uh, I guess he's getting frustrated about playing against me top lane, and uh, he kind of just died mid. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, shut this all the way in. I got my Sedge on top side, so I can run down to her if I get caught up by Kane here. Uh, Twisted Fate has no ultimate, he's also dead. As soon as I see Yasuo, I think I'm gonna throw down my E and walk away. Oh. Oh, that burst! Holy shit. Yeah, I had three bite stacks there, so that did, uh, eh, did quite a bit of damage. How much damage is it? 7% per bite stack right now. Wow. Eh, that's some damage, huh? Get doing this. Nice. Oh, Soraka heal is pretty good. Yeah, so I. I only pushed up that far because I knew my Sejuani was topside. So I knew if they went after me that that's a play I could make, running to my Sedge. And it uh, looks like the Yasuo got baited. 
I'm going to run back. I got my Night Harvester now, which is going to give me a lot more survivability and a good bit of extra damage. So again, this does max health magic damage, so I can actually build Sorks too if I wanted. Um, but I think right here I don't have enough. I think I'm going to grab... Um, I don't know why I have on here. I'm going to grab Dagger and Amptone. We're going to be building in towards Nasher's Tooth, which is going to add in um, extra on-hit magic damage. And going to give me, I think it's 100 ability power. So I get extra percent uh, max health damage in my W. Plus the uh, just the on-hit, you know, this passive is really nice. Then for third item, I'm going to get a Runeance Hurricane. So I can be applying AoE stacks to entire teams. And potentially get a double Q pop off. I'm hoping at least. Even if I get my Q from like 13 seconds down to like 3, that's like pretty significant. But I think with uh, like a full proc, I think it's 100% cooldown. So you can, you know, basically no cooldown send the champion uh, once you build enough. enough. Uh, very, the gas will win back mid, so. Twist Fate's here too, he's got like no HP, so I don't have to worry. If it's Kane coming up here by himself, I can just solo him. No big deal. Yeah, it looks like he also is a little bit fresher to the top lane, if I had to guess, so. He's not, uh, he's not coming back here. Oh. Yeah, and Sedge, man, this Sedge has been just ruining this Yasuo's day. Man, I'm about to get so much gold. I'm rich! Oops, I misclicked twice. Okay. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna be building in towards uh, Nashers, so let's have Recurve Bow, and we can grab that uh, Blasting Wand too. I think. Hey, wait, a little bit of gold. I head down to the Fire Dragon. Doesn't look like we're gonna be contested, but I can also just head mid lane. Be a little bit safer for me now that I've got the uh, that first turret down. I'm definitely not gonna be split pushing up here against Kane Twisted Fate. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't sound good. Ooh, maybe I can steal this. So I can do max health damn I mean, I don't have any bite sacks. Oh my gosh, the damage. Oh! <laughs> Wait, get him! Wait. I can't, I can't steal it. Oh, Sims got it! <laughs> Nice. Okay. Let's go mid. Let's um let's get this mid turret. I am huge. That night harvester did so much damage because there's it's a cooldown per champion on this item. So it's not a cool so it's a cooldown per champion, so I just did that bonus damage to all the champions. That's really nice. My team is really good at group with since we have locks and strock to keep me alive. We got really good front line with Sedge. Um yeah, let's get this red buff. Try to snowball a little bit harder here. Hmm. Maybe we can catch out Kane here. Oh, he's looking at the Twisted Fate. That was an optimistic Lux ult. Uh, we can get Rift. I have to group with my team for a lot of this game, since, like, I'm not your typical top laner, right? I have to group a lot more than a typical top laner would. You. Did, oh, did I get cancelled? I think I did get cancelled. This is bad. Hmm. 
close. Almost got him. Alright. Oh no. Wait. I got two. I'm set worth. I almost got that uh, cane too. I was almost in range. Man, they really wanted me, huh? Alright, let's get uh, Swords. That way I get some little bit of action magic pen for all this magic damage we're going to be dealing. And uh, let's build Renan's. So we can team fight a little bit stronger. Plus the zeal, honestly, is a pretty good item. So even when you build like Twisted Fate, you build that rapid fire, like a good portion of that item is from the zeal, um, giving the extra percent move speed. Plus the attack speed uh, for Ferris is really good with the Blight Sacks and the Rune Ants in total as well. Because I could apply Blight Sacks more. Um, towards mid. Wait, he went after me? Or he went after Sedge? That wasn't very good. <laughs> wow, my attack speed is ridiculous. Me and, like, how, me and Vane look really similar. Just like from the coloration. Like, if I was a new player, I would not be able to know, like, which one's which. I would just like to say that. So, oh, I didn't even think about... I, I was always thinking about the cooldown on my Q. But this also reduces the long-ass cooldown on my W, too. Wait a second. So I'm going to be getting empowered uh, Qs all the time with my W, right? The W active? I didn't even think about that part. That's probably the most broken part. That makes uh, AD Ferris really good too. I went AP just because, you know, I like the uh, I like the on hit setup. But, like AD with Lethality could be really solid as well. Really? Oh. Wait, and he. Oh no, how tragic. That was so tragic, actually. How did that? Yasuo stole the rift over the wall with the Q. And then we, we didn't see Kane come in like until he showed up in the wall here. So the Kane had a really good flank right there, too. Zazu. If you guys my YouTube community did not know, this is my bird, Zazu. She is a yellow side green cheek conier, and she is very cute. Hey, Renan's built that pickaxe now? What? Huh. That's actually really nice. I didn't realize they changed Renan's like that. Hmm. I don't know if my Q can kill. Uh, we can have dragon? I guess we do. some pretty good damage. Alright, I got my run in. So, we got our core items here. Alright, we need to group up and, uh, hopefully we can, hopefully we can stay alive. We just need to not get flanked by that, by the, uh, cane again. If we get flanked by cane, it's just over for us. At least when we don't have flash. We actually have really good scaling, though. Like, our entire team scales super well. Oh, I was trying to take out a shield. Yeah, Runance is such a big spike with this setup. And I'm at 1.98 max speed, plus I got lethal tempo to attack even faster. Just double checking the same ones there. 
Um, let's do this group up. Okay. That guy got bursted. I mean, that guy had a big shutdown too. What was he doing? He got a little bit cocky, so what happened? A burst damage there. Okay, I think I saved the uh, the bane there with my exhaust. Yeah, we can do this for sure. I have my ultimate back soon. Wait. Oh wait, it's basic abilities. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't reduce my ultimate cooldown, just my QW. Wait, my cooldowns go down on jungle camps too? Wait, does that mean jungle bears is a thing? If my cooldowns go down on jungle camps too? Holy shit. Um, okay, I'm gonna stay mid just because they summon the rift. I'm the only one here. I guess Vayne's here too. I think did pretty significant damage there. Oh, he still got the charge. So, my Q's doing... Wow, even with building full AP, my Q's doing a maximum of 440 damage. I guess I have a little bit of AD from the, the Brewmans now, right? Give me a target. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enough gold so I can buy two large rods going towards Death Cap. So, that's why I haven't been... Um, so I haven't backed yet after the Baron. I'm gonna buy two war trucks. Yeah, cow. Group up. We could group up bottom since they have two turrets bottom that we can get with burn. Just stay together, we'll be good. Uh, okay, that dude got one shot in. This ult auto Q just basically insta killed. Maybe Varus bro. Oh. Oh, we really can't end? Wow. I almost killed the uh, Yasuo there. I did, what, 600 damage to that Q? Oh, no! I do, I do too much damage. If he walks up like that and I'm not CC'd, he's just gonna get owned. Okay, I think I have to uh, burst this. No wind wall. I think they get this up. I see it all pretty good damage to this auto attack thing. Um, let's just reset. I got death cap. So I'm about to go from 321 ability power into uh, 430. Pretty good. Alright, and uh, here are my runes, if you guys didn't see already. I took presence of mine just so I uh, basically don't run out of mana. Because I want to be slinging spells like crazy in fights.
Let's uh let's push bottom. My purpose is clear. Where's our front line? We need our sedge. I still wanna get a um an AoE ability usage where I get a hundred percent of my cooldowns back, because that'd be pretty cool, but um they're coming in like one by one at me. Maybe if they have like multiple front line is when like Ferris could be using that a little bit more. But even just a little bit of cooldown on the Q or W or whatever, just getting two W's off in a fight. Would be really good. Yeah, see they're not really grouped up ever. Yeah, that's getting melted. Honestly, looks like the Twisted Fate and Kane left the game. Oh, now Kane's here. They're just, um, not reacting. Okay, let me just go in the game. I could do an R flash here. Oh, wait, he went at me. What a madman. Good old uh, 100 old burst on the Yasuo. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of AP Varus in Season 11. Let me know what you think of these changes on him down in the comments down below. And make sure to like and subscribe in the video. It really helps a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.